Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to start a new chapter, lesson number seven. One for many. Okay. So lesson number seven. One for many. So what is this one for many? So children, there is a single word used for the collection of things. Okay. I repeat. There is a single word used for the collection of things. A group of accumulated items of a particular kind. Okay. So there is a single word which we have uh, given for a group of things of a particular kind. For example, the collection of pen. Pencil, eraser, book. So all this collection, okay, all this we call it as a single word. What is this? We call them as stationery. Okay, so stationery is a single word. For example, we all purchase these things from which shop? We call that shop name also that stationery shop, right? So the collection of pen, pencil, eraser. So all the collections we call it a single word. It is stationery. Okay, so we go to stationery shop to buy a pen, pencil, book, for example, color pencils, etc. Right, children? So it is a single word for the collection of the particular kind. Okay, so we call them as stationery. Same way, the collection of apple mango grapes orange what do we call them as there is a single word right apple mango grapes orange what are these so what are these we call them as fruits right so see there is a single word which we call them as fruits so the collection of apple mango grapes orange what do we call them Word. 
Next, the collection of apple, mango, grapes, orange are called as fruits. Same way, brinjal, potato, onion, carrot. What do we call them as? It is vegetables, right? So, it is the single word we call it as vegetables. Next, bangles, earrings, finger rings, all these collections. There is a single word called as jewelry. Again, for example, crow, parrot, pigeon, all those things. What do we call them as? We call them as birds, right? So, crow, parrot, parrot, then pigeon, sparrow. So, what are this? There is a single word. We call them the a single word. So, these are called as birds. Okay. So, it is a single word. And so, children, so like this, the collection of things. Okay. Things, people, birds, animals, animals also. For example, tiger, lion, buffalo, all those things. There is a single word, right? We call them as animals. Same way, so the collection, there is a single word used for the collection of things. Or a group of accumulated items of a particular kind, we give a single word. Okay, children? So, now we will start writing the textbook exercises. Okay? So, children, everyone open your sparrow textbook. Okay? In that page number 216. Okay, children? Page number 216. So, in that lesson number 7, one for many. Okay? So, now we will start writing the textbook exercises. So, what they have given here? Give a single word used for the collection. Okay. Choose the correct word from the box given below. Okay, children. So, now we will start writing. So, first one. Can you see the picture here? What and all is here? So, there is a book. There is a pencil and diary, pen, eraser and also a paintbrush. So, while explaining, I told you, all this collection, what do we call them as? Yes, it's stationery. So, we will write stationery, okay? Write neatly. Yes, T, A, T, I, O, N, E, R, Y, stationery. I'll repeat. Yes, T A T I O N E R Y. Stationery. So the collection of pen, pencil, book, diary, eraser, paintbrush, all this collection, we call it in a single word as stationery. Okay, I'll repeat the spelling. S T A T I O i o n e r y stationery okay now we'll move on to the second one so what is here so there is a bangle finger ring earring and a chain so the collection of this what do we call it as it is jewelry so start writing j e w E L L E R Y Jewelry. I'll repeat J E W E L L E R Y Jewelry. So the collection of bangles, finger ring, earring, and chain. So the collection of these things we call it in a single word as Jewelry. J E W E L L E R Y. Jewelry. Okay. So now we will move on to the third question. So what we can see here. See children. There is a parrot, crow, 
pigeon and sparrow so there is a single word for all those things we call it in a single word right children what do we call we call them as birds right so it is birds b i r d s birds okay so there is a parrot crow pigeon and a sparrow so we call them all them as in a single word what do we call them birds b i r d s birds okay so now we'll move on to the fourth question so what can you see here there is a shirt and a frock pant tie so these things what do we call them as it is clothes okay so there is a shirt frock pant tie all those things we call in a single word called clothes okay so c l o t h e s clothes okay c l o t h e s yes clothes so the collection of shirt frock pant tie all those things we call them in a single word called as clothes c l o t h e s yes clothes okay next we'll move on to the seventh question can you so no fifth question okay so what you can see here we can see different types of metals here okay so this is a earring it is gold okay and it is a finger ring this is we call it as silver and it is steel and this is called as this is a tumbler we call it in a aluminum okay so these are different types of metals we call them as different types of metals gold silver steel aluminum so these are called as metals okay so we will write m e t a l s metals so these are different types of metals gold silver steel aluminum so these are different types of so all these things we call in a single word as metals m e t a l s metals okay next we we'll move on to the sixth question so what is this here can you see the picture everyone there is a apple banana orange okay and chiku fruit so all these things we call it as a in a single word what do we call them as fruits okay so write down f r u i t s fruits so the collection of all those things apple banana orange all those things we call it as fruits f r u i t s fruits okay children now we will move on to the seventh question okay so what is here so there is a screw driver screw here this is called a screw driver hammer so all those things these are called as tools okay so these are helpful for to repair or something okay so these are called as tools t o o l s tools i'll repeat t o o l s tools the collection of screw nails screw driver hammer all those things we call it as tools t o o l s tools okay next we'll move on to the eighth question what can you see here there is a spoon fork 
knives okay so why we use them these are helpful to cut or eat food right children so we call them as cutlery the single word we call them as cutlery okay c u t l e r y cutlery c u t l e r y cutlery so the collection of spoon fork knife all those things we use it as a for cutting or eating the food right children so it is called as cutlery c u t l e r y cutlery okay next we move on to the nine what can you see here what do we call the mass there are different types of what is the name of this vehicle these are called as cars right so the different types of cars so we call them as cars c a r s so the vehicle name it is cars okay can you see a red color car blue white hash color so all those things we call in a single word as cars c a r s cars okay next we'll move on to the 10th question so what is this so there is a water and there are some of the birds here right swan duck penguin so all these live in water right children so these are called as a single word we call them as water birds okay as they live in the water we call them as water birds okay so write down w a t e r water birds b i r d s water birds i'll repeat w a t e r water birds b i r d s water birds okay children so like this they are there is a single word used for the collection of a particular kind okay so there is a single word so write neatly in your textbook okay children okay children now you all have understood right so uh, there is a single word we are giving for a collection of a particular kind so write neatly the textbook exercises okay children so here i am winding up the session take care bye